What is up ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Drug Review video. In today's video we are taking a look at this Renault Premium 460. Let's fit it through its paces. Let's see what you've got. is appalling. Let's head back round at a bit of a slower speed now and uh, I'll give you my thoughts on what I think of the Renault Premium 46 c I'll see you back round and I'll see you in a few minutes when I get back round onto the car park. See you shortly. Okay, so Never a back in car park, we just soon park the track. And give you my honest thoughts and opinions of this Renault Premium 416. So, before 
performance wise with the load we had on, we had a 22 ton load in the trailer of uh, empty pallets. Obviously, that's quite a heavy load. I've sat on 38 ton uh, for my gross weight, which is a lot. But what I thought we would do first, before I gave my honest opinions, is I'm going to is unhook from this trailer and take it for a spin solo and let us see what she can do. Okay, right, disunhook from the trailer. Let's fly solo and let's see what speed we can get her to this time. Now that we have no weight on the back. I can work out where I'm meant to be going. Which would be a brilliant start if I was in the right way. I've already noticed straight away. The acceleration is a lot quicker now that I don't have to away from the back. I'm already doing near practically 40 mile an hour now. Same time like I was doing about 90, maybe 100 miles an hour then, even though I wasn't so shifting the speed I Um, for when this truck was built, was the most powerful engine that Renault offered uh, for the Renault Premiums. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly used to driving the 460 in a way, uh, from the truck and blobs as you guys are more than definitely aware. However, there is a big, however, 
I spring it back up to my tornado. There are some downs. But as I said in the previous review video, back to full drugs. Yes, I want to just the pin. I need to adjust my height because I know what the height of the trailer is. Yeah, as I was um, briefly mentioning um, in the previous video uh, when I reviewed the MAN, every truck has its ups, every truck has its downs. This truck has a very mixed package. So we'll start on the outside. So the outside, the front is very, very simple, very simple grill and obviously a very simple badge. Uh, headlights are obviously on the best uh, bad, best there um, unlike trucks we have now in 2023 where most of them actually have LED headlights. Um, obviously you've got the three steps going into the cab, you've got your air tanks, your tail lights. Um, now coming inside the three main downers to this track that I personally don't like is A, in the back there, with the, there being no storage lockers, I don't know if there's a, maybe it's like some sort of pull out bunk or something. Um, if anyone's driven a uh, Renault Premium they know more about these, please do uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, lack of storage is probably my biggest one. Um, pretty decent visibility actually um, out of the windscreen and out of the mirrors. So you can tell from uh, the driver's side and the left hand side, which in my case is my blind side. Um, Coming on to the dash, sorry guys, I'm have stuck the track on this part. Uh, you've got your mileage, your fuel, uh, your air pressure, your uh, oil temp, all that good stuff. Turn that back off. Um, You've got your aircon controls. Um, you've got a whole load of buttons down uh, underneath the armrest. Not entirely sure what they're for. Nothing. Is I am not one hundred percent sure. Ah, there's. Oh, okay, that's where the parking brake is. Okay, so let's figure that one then. Um, do I like it? Don't I like it? It's a very simple track. Um, not very talky at all. Um, but it gets the job done. Yeah. The acceleration is pretty pants, but obviously with a full load on the back and a heavy load as well, obviously most trucks are in struggle to get up to speed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you've got any comments, queries or concerns, please do let me know by commenting in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.